and I'm using the VGA and uh, that's pretty much it I mean that's you can't get any simpler than that on the menus um, so let me back out here for a minute Now, uh, one of the things I like to do is, uh, well, there goes the light. Uh, give me a second. Set this up again. Sorry about that. Try to uh, not move this too much. Oh, this is uh, like something. One of these days I'll set something uh, a little more permanent. I just don't do that or make that many videos so I apologize for that um, let me see if I get the screen here alright so going back to the uh, actual monitor as you can see or maybe not let um, me get a straight shot here uh, basically my big uh, pet peeve with the monitors right now, or at least all these monitor, new monitors, is that they are quite crisp. This is much better, as you can see. Uh, well, maybe not on the uh, video too much, but it's definitely better than the Acer that I got at first. And the reason I like to put a uh, what do you call it, a uh, white screen on the back, and yeah, I'll show you down here too. Oops. Properties. A lot of high this. The reason I like to put a whole white background is because it'll show you if you have any dead pixels or manufacturing defects, which on my last one I had a line right next to the X. Um, I couldn't take it off, it was just a defect. And right about six inches in I had another dead pixel. Uh, it was very faint, but uh, even the colors were a little on the bluish side. I wasn't sure if it was the monitor or not. This one, however, seems to be very good. In terms of uh, you know no uh, manufacturing defects, um, so that's how I like to check this now. I just had to do it. Um, let me see if I can go into the text real quick and show you what that looks like. Hopefully, the camera won't pick up that mesh or the uh, matte screen too much. Okay, well, looks like I'm going to be out a bit, right about there. But, obviously, you can still see that uh, mesh getting picked up for the matte screen, I would say. But that's just the way those are. Um, here's another example of um, the text in action, basically. It's just a text file. I copy some uh, text from the internet. Uh, let me make that bigger here. And uh, go in. So you can see that at least the text is a lot better. It's not as fuzzy. Obviously, my camera is not picking it up so well. Come on. But, obviously this is the most important part that I'm trying to show you, and my camera refuses to do it. So there you go, that's as close as I'm going to be able to get. But even with all the, 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 the matte finish that's getting picked up, you can see that the text is uh, more readable. It does not look like that in uh, re uh, when you have it in front of you, obviously. Um, there's still a very, very slight uh, matte uh, covering on it that you can almost noticed but it's it's a lot more more uh, it's a lot harder to see it on this monitor versus the other one uh, and that's the one thing that I'm trying to point out because this is uh, probably the most important part that you want to focus on uh, the reason being is that if you're always reading on monitors um, you definitely don't want to fatigue your eyes or you know screw your eyes up because your monitor is so pretty bad and it has a too heavy of a matte finish or whatever that case may be. Uh, so far, <clears throat> I finally found one. We were fries with my, one of my friends. And we saw one that had like the uh, glass finish. And that's the only... It was a Dell too. It was a bigger Dell. Uh, 
that had a really crisp uh, screen and text. Obviously, it was a lot more, but uh, the point being is that uh, a lot of these newer ones they don't have uh, those type of screens. They have this matte finish, and which seems to be a lot of plastic, which causes this problem. Um, so far, I haven't used it much to say if I'm getting too many headaches around this or not. It is bright at night, you have to turn it down, but uh, it is what it is in that in there. Um, so now that I cover that, um, that's pretty much it. Uh, I don't want to make this too long, obviously we all know what the monitor is. And um, let me show you a video real quick, or a little bit of a video. Uh, IPS displays tend to have a nice uh, picture quality. Uh, I'm running this video at 1080p just to give you an idea. And uh, you'll be able to see, sorry about that. Let's back up a little bit. Uh, I don't want to back up too much. I want you to see it. Um, and they look very nice when you're watching videos and things like that, obviously. I'm gonna turn off the lights so that you can just see the. the monitor itself. Well, I apologize. This is definitely not showing through. Well, I'm not even gonna bother. Um, unfortunately, my camera—it's really cropping out. So I apologize for that, guys. Um, anyway, so I was trying to show you that, but. This uh, Nikon is really, really been the pain in my you know what. For the Come on. All right, I give up on that part. But um, I think you can uh, take my word for on that. At least the colors I know they're pretty good. Um, so, with that said, that's pretty much all, all I wanted to cover, mainly the text and the monitor itself.